Hi all today we are going to discuss Shylock is my name by Howard Jacobson Howard Jacobson was born in Manchester England in 1942 he is a novelist and a broadcaster his first novel is coming from behind he won Jewish Quarter Literary Prize for fiction in 2000 his recent books are The Finkler Question, Snood Time, Shylock is My Name, Pussy. Collection of his journalism, Whatever It Is, I Don't Like It, was published in 2011. Hogarth Shakespeare The Hogarth Shakespeare Project was an effort by Hogarth Press to retell works by William Shakespeare for a more modern audience. To do this, Hogarth commissioned well-known writers to select and reimagine the plays. Some of the major works are some of the works are The Gap of Time, Shylock is My Name, Vinegar Girl, Hackseed, Macbeth, Dunbar and New Boy. Now we can see Shylock is my name as a recreation of The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. So now we can look the summary of The Merchant of Venice. A young Venetian Bassanio needs a loan of 3000 ducats so that he can woo Portia, a wealthy Venetian heiress. He approaches his friend Antonio, a merchant. Antonio is short of money because all his wealth is invested in his fleet, which is currently at sea. He goes to Jewish moneylender Shylock, who hates Antonio because of Antonio's anti-Semitic behavior towards him. Shylock nevertheless agrees to make the short term loan but in a moment of dark humor he makes a condition the loan must be repaid in 3 months or Shylock will exact a pound of flesh from Antonio Antonio agrees confident that his ships will return in time because of terms of Portia's father's will All suitors must choose from among three caskets, one of which contains a portrait of her. If he chooses that he may marry Portia, but if he doesn't, he must woo never to marry or court another woman. As Bassanio prepares to travel to Belmon for the fest, his friend Lorenzo elopes with Shylock's daughter Jessica. Bassanio chooses the lead casket which contains her picture and Portia happily agrees to marry him. Meanwhile, two of Antonio's ships have been wrecked and Antonio's creditors are pressuring him for repayment. Word comes to Bassanio about Antonio's predicament and he hurries back to Venice. leaving Portia behind Portia follows him accompanied by her maid Nerissa they are disguised male lawyers and his clerk when Bassanio arrives the date for repayment to Shylock has passed and Shylock is demanding his pound of flesh even when Bassanio offers much more than the amount in repayment Shylock now as infuriated by the loss of his daughter as intent on seeking revenge on Christians the duke refuses to intervene Portia arrives in her disguise to defend Antonio given the authority of judgment by duke 
Portia decides that Shiloh can have the pound of flesh as long as he doesn't draw blood as it is against the law to shed a Christian's blood. Since it is obvious that to draw a pound of flesh would kill Indonio, Shylock is denied his suit. Moreover, for conspiring to murder a Venetian citizen, Portia orders that he should forfeit all his wealth, half to Venice and half to Indonio. Antonio gives his half back to Shylock on the condition that Shylock bequeaths it to his disinherited daughter Jessica. Shylock must also convert to Christianity. A broken Shylock accepts. Never arrives news. Uh, news arrives that Antonio, the remaining ships have returned safely. With the exception of Shylock, all celebrates a happy ending to the affair. The main themes are justice, mercy, revenge, love and friendship. And though much of the subject matter is rather dark, it is regarded as one of Shakespeare's comedy play. Now, moving to Jacobson's Shylock Is My Name, which is a recreation of The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. This work addresses the question of anti-Semitism in contemporary England, how Jewish identity plays out in a specifically English context. It has intense dialogues between Shylock and Strulovich, two Jews. Jacobson took the name, the title of this work, Shylock is my name, from Act 4, Scene 1 of Merchant of Venice. Now we can move to the summary of Jacobson's The Shylock Is My Name. The opening scene of Jacobson's novel portrays Trulovich and Shylock's first encounter at the cemetery. The opening scene of Jacobson's novel portrays Strulovich and Shylock's first encounter at the cemetery. Strulovich mourns the death of his mother and Shylock imagines spending his time in conversation with his late wife Leah. Strulovich's second wife Kay, a former teacher, suffered stock on their daughter's 14th birthday. This made their life complicated. His first wife was a Christian whom he married against the words of his father and then ended up in divorce. Strulovitz's effort to bring up his daughter Beatrice on his own thus echoes Shylock's family responsibility for his daughter Jessica in the Merchant of Venice. Shylock and Strulovitz discuss about their personal difficulties, Jewish diaspora and in perception by the English. Thus, the two strangers become friends and invite Shiloh to his house. The characters of Pisanio, Graciano, and Portia, renaming them Barnaby, Gretton, and, and Anna Livia, Plurabelle, Cleopatra, a thing of beauty, as a joy forever, Christine, respectively. Fleury is a local celebrity and a reality show host who owns a restaurant, Utopia. Flurry falls in love with Bambi as he chooses Volkswagen Beetle over her Porsche Carrera. It is a rather facial rendering of casket scene in which Bassanio chooses lead casket instead of gold and silver casket. As dictated by her deceased father in a will with Porsche's future has been well kept, 
her only through the lottery of casket. But Plury's difficulty in choosing a partner stems from her own decision to postpone a serious relationship rather than from a limitation exerted from outside. Stulowitz's employ, who is a black chauffeur named Brendan, resembles Shylock's servant Lancelot Gobo in Shakespeare's play. Stulowitz hates Christian and his daughter calls him the Christ Killer. Strulowitz hates Gretchen as he is a Christian and he was once accused of giving a Nazi salute on the football field. As none of them need to ask Strulowitz to lend them his money, it is Strobiatrus who was doing performance studies at the Golden Triangle Academy that the interaction between the Jewish and non-Jewish characters developed. Plury and D'Anton once met in a party and they became friends. D'Anton is a melancholic fellow like Antonio in Merchant of Venice. Unaware that his student Beatrice is Tulovic's daughter, D'Anton recommend her to Plury as an innocent diversion for Gretlet, whose weakness for juices so amused them both. Plury introduces Beatrice and Gretchen, and in a short time they started dating. Gretchen resembles Lorenzo in The Merchant of Venice. Strulovich found Gretchen not a match for his daughter. He doesn't dismiss Gretchen openly, rather Strulovich tries to scare Gretchen away by announcing that in order to get married to Beatrice, the young man has to convert to Judaism and undergo circumcision. So Beatrice and Gretchen elope to Venice. Beatrice agrees to go there because of her physical attraction to Gretchen, as well as to escape from her father's control. But contrary to the, her expectation, after spending a few full days with her boyfriend, she, fo she found him sexually satisfying, but otherwise rather boring and she begins to miss her father. Strulowitz's hatred centers on D'Anton. After Beatrice disappeared, Strulowitz threatened D'Anton that if he doesn't get his daughter back, he will make public that the fact Gretchen had sex with her while she was under age, adding that everyone who was aware of that is implicated in the crime. After Strulowitz's threat, both D'Anton and Plury are worried that their reputation will be shattered if Beatrice and Gretchen do not come back to Manchester. Afraid that in case Gretchen and Beatrice do not return in two weeks and Gretchen does not get circumcised, Strulowitz will put his threat into practice. D'Anton then sends Strulowitz a note which suggests a solution. Let my person stand as surety that Fugretan returns with a fortnight. If he is not back to face his punishment by then, take from me. What you what you would take from him? Strulovich agrees. De Anton's simulation is his very aim. However, on the agreed date, Strulovich is informed by Dr. Pandari Malik that De Anton is already circumcised. As he was born in missionary-minded parents in Guinea, where circumcision is a common as in other southern countries. Yet, the ending of Jacobson's novel, he strays from the Merchant of Venice. The last chapter provides a significant revision of the art of Shakespeare's play, a Shylock present as an observer at Silovitz's meeting with the Anton and Plory. Shylock delivers a speech on the quality of mercy. In this, uh, Shylock is my name. Like Portia delivering the quality of mercy speech in The Merchant of Venice. Shylock delivers a speech on the quality of mercy, explaining to Plury that the mercy and charity 
are Jewish as well as Christian concepts. While Sulovich is admittedly tricked by the Anton scheme, just like Shakespeare's Shylock was trialed by Portia in disguise as a lawyer, he does not feel defeated as he is not going to lose his identity and dignity due to the trick. Furthermore, whereas Shakespeare's Jessica never returns to her father, Strulovitz's daughter Beatrice returns to his father, returns to her father and she begins to take care of her ill mother. In conclusion, as Shylock's memories mirror Strulovitz's problem, Jacobson's novel not only illustrates the universal theme of Shakespeare, the merchant of Venice, but also highlights the problems of the Jewish diaspora in contemporary Britain. Now we can discuss some parallel characters. The left side it is about the Shakespeare's play The Merchant of Venice and on the opposite side it is the characters of Shylock is my name. Shylock in Venice is Shylock in Chester and Simon Strulovich in Shylock is my name. Portia is Florabelle, Jessica, Beatrice, Antonio is D'Anton, Bazzanio, Barnabé, Gratian or Lorenzo is Critton Housem, and Leah, Shylock's wife, is Leah, Shylock's wife. Thus, we can conclude our discussion. Thank you all.